Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on dividing mixed numbers. Now we saw with multiplying mixed numbers that we first just need to convert your mixed numbers to improper fractions first. And then we would just divide those improper fractions like we usually would. And remember this is called a mixed number because it has a whole part and a fractional part. So this is four and a half. So let's use this approach here with part A. We convert this to a mixed number. Now do you remember the way we do that is to multiply the whole part by the denominator and to add on the numerator. So four times two is eight plus one is nine. So it's nine over and we use the same denominator. So it's over two and then we're dividing by two thirds. At this point we can divide our fractions how we usually would. And I use the keep flip change method. So we keep this as it is. We change this symbol from a divide into a times and the two thirds we flip. The posh word is to say we reciprocate it. We do one over it, which flips it upside down. So keep this as it is. Change the divide into a times and flip the second fraction. So that becomes three over two. And then we can multiply in the usual. To multiply two fractions together, we multiply the numerators. 9 times 3 is 27. And we multiply the denominators. 2 times 2 is 4. And if we wanted to, we could convert this to a mixed number. So we say, how many times does 4 go into 27? It goes in 6 whole times. And we have a remainder of 3. So we do 3, and then that's over that denominator there. And I explore that conversion process in a separate video. What about the second one? We got five divided by one and four fifths. Again, we need to convert these into improper fractions. Now, interestingly, this is not even a fraction. And if that happens, you can just write it as five over one, because five divided by one is just the same as five, isn't it? And we've got divide, and then we need to convert this to an improper fraction. One times five is five, plus four is nine, so it's nine over five. And then we can use our keep change flip method to divide these fractions. So we keep the 5 over 1 as it is, change this operator from divide to times, and flip the second fraction to become 5 ninths. And then we can just multiply these two fractions together by multiplying the numerators, 5 times 5 is 25, and multiplying the denominators, 1 times 9 is 9. And again, if we want to, we could convert that to a mixed number. 9 goes into 25 two whole times, and we have 7 remaining. So that's 7 ninths.